May is a big month for Kentucky in history for obvious reasons like, you know, the Derby, no big deal. But uh, it's an important month for our history because it helps us keep track of our history. And that's because it was this month the Filson Historical Society was founded a long time ago. So there are partners for this series, this month in history. Right. So as you talk to them kind of about their history this month. Yeah, exactly. We've been doing different topics throughout the months, but this month is all about the Filson. 137 years ago, the Filson was founded. It was a private and an exclusive club, but now anyone can join. Before the 1920s and 30s, when the society was officially housed in a building, the collections were actually in members' homes. People who wanted to do research would have to contact the society and then go visit these private libraries. May 15, 1884 is the official founding of the Filson Historical Society, uh, which was brought together as a private club of history-minded individuals in Louisville. They were an interesting group of folks. They were an even mix of uh, former Union and Confederate supporters and veterans. They came together to study history, to really heal the wounds of uh, their younger lives of the war that had divided the state. So they decided to focus on an earlier generation of Kentucky history. They decided to settle on, or focus on the, the settlement of Kentucky uh, in the, the 18th and early 19th century. So since that original founding in 1884, the Filson has evolved quite a bit. We have more people investigating their own past, their community's past, and that's a wonderful thing. We now have you know, 25 full-time uh, professionally trained staff that can come and assist researchers from all over the world. One of the things that we aim to do with all of our research and programs is to be a resource for Louisville and Kentucky in understanding its past, really so that we can make better informed choices about our future. We have a series of lectures, almost one every week, sometimes two. We also have research archives. Welcome anyone to come and research family history, architectural history, if you own a house that you want to know more about, for example. And then we have uh, rare books and manuscripts, which are, are really the, the heart of our collection, that are one-of-a-kind items. The core of those ideas that got started in May of 1884 are still with us. The Society was named after Kentucky's first historian, John Filson, who wrote a book about Kentucky before it was even a state. Right now you can make an appointment to do research, but they hope to be back open to the public on September 1st. Rob? Here's hoping with that one.